Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel's Mike's Talks and Thoughts here. I'm back again with another video today and, and today we have House of the Dragon Season 1 Episode 5. We light the way. Now this episode here was just, especially that last 5-10 minutes, absolutely crazy. That's what a lot of these House of the Dragon episodes have been doing. They had this slow build up at start of the episode, have some a good conversation and dialogue based characters and writing of course in the middle of the episode and then at the end they have something with a bang here whether a big fight or a big scene that breaks out crazy and we get both of those in the final five minutes of this episode so the conclusion here of Rhaenyra finding a husband sort of comes to an end here we see how she is now with Lenor Valerian here we see how they're sort of matched up here and we see how Corliss and Renice are involved in this and we see that Lenor is actually gay here making it very awkward and weird especially as well with Rhaenyra and Kristen Cole which we saw from the previous episode getting together and just makes for a crazy wild wide scene and seeing the two lovers here course going at it at the end of the episode this episode as well brought us Viserys and we see how broken and how sick he really is we've seen kind of each and every episode his health deteriorating but now it's gotten to a point where he is even struggling to stay on his own two feet now he's like critically ill he has all these problems here and as you saw by the end of the episode just like he's pretty much on his deathbed at this point i mean viserys is just he's out for the count he's just in such poor health here and we can see allison sees that she knows that once he goes then the big war is going to come about in this episode as well we saw of course allison's father otto and him talking about the whole uh situation here of the air Rhaenyra versus aegon how it's going to fight the how it's going to divide the realm here as we know with the dance of dragons which was crazy and seeing daemon come back in this episode was great to see he makes of course just a big presence here you know he really kicks off the episode of course uh killing his wife here which you know will come back to bite him in the later episodes here we'll have to see but of course this episode revolves around the big idea of the wedding here the whole wedding and if you've seen game of thrones you obviously know when there's a wedding happening nothing good happens something bad always happens at a wedding something tragic something terrible just some big events gotta happen and for this wedding it was around the last 20 to 25 minutes of the episode we see of course uh like i said Rhaenyra and Lenor are now a thing they are being wed here and we see Viserys and Corlys come to these terms that they will have Valerian's last name until the Elvisborn ascends the Iron Throne, and then he'll be Targaryen. And we see how uh, just still the tension, the tension in these conversations are still building. That's what I love about this show, just the tension and dialogue and how it's written. It's, it's really great right now. And that's one thing I really liked about this episode. And the wedding here, as I mentioned, no good things happen in Game of Thrones universe at weddings here. And as I mentioned, this wedding was around 20 to 25 minutes. The episode really carries a lot of that back half. We see Viserys giving his speech and then Allison, of course, coming and interrupting the speech sort of with her grand entrance. And we see just the tension. Daemon comes in and we see the tension there. We see... Uh, Corliss and Rhaenyra's daughter, of course, who was supposed to be wed to Viserys or who they were trying to get Viserys to wed. Now she's sort of talking with Daemon here and the whole situation with Lanar being gay and having his lover there without people knowing about it, but sort of knowing about it. And Rhaenyra and Kristen Cole, and we just see the culmination here at the very end. And we see Kristen Cole just absolutely snap here on Lanar's. I love her here and he just goes really really crazy uh just the way that he goes out and uh, beats the guy to death absolutely insane really reminded me in the aftermath uh of a scene from game of thrones if you know you know uh season four trial by combat if you know you know 
uh, really gave me flashbacks to that scene where I was like, whoa, this is epic. This is insane. Wow. I can't believe this is going to happen. But yeah, that was the standout of the episode. Of course, the last five to ten minutes here, absolutely going crazy. Absolutely loved it. This was actually a really, really great episode. You know, it started off a little bit slow at first. Really picked up the middle with the great conversations. And then at the end with the big shocking moment and the big event happening, which it seems like House of the Dragon has been using its formula for these first five episodes and is definitely working here. This episode, though, because the whole episode wasn't completely, utterly blew my mind or fantastic, I would still say it's like an 8.5 out of 10 a really good episode here, one that I think is one of the strongest so far we've seen. A lot of great moments in here, especially that uh, wedding scene is going to live on in infamy. Going to be one of the most replayed and rewatched moments from the show here. And also, this is the last episode, of course, with uh, young Rhaenyra and young Allison. We get two new actors in the next episodes here. We're going to get this huge time jump here. About 10 years of leaving to the future. So stuff's really going to pick up here as we see just the conflict again building around this time of 10 years. It's it's going to be epic and I can't wait to see how they're going to finish the last half of the season. So yeah, that's going to do it here for the video. Take care everyone. Peace out.